So just find a comfortable seat, close your eyes and arrive into the space. Becoming aware of your breath. Taking a few deep breaths. Bring your hands over to your heart. Maybe setting an intention for your class today, your practice, your solstice, the change of the season, whatever shifts you want to invite in, something you want to focus on, something you want to be grateful for. Breathe it into your heart space. And we're gonna bring our palms into a prayer mudra in front of our heart. Um, we begin the Kundalini class with tuning in with the Adi Mantra and the Mangala Charan Mantras, which you have in front of you or you can just receive the frequency of the sound. Um, the Adi Mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, to ring in and connect to the divine, the golden chain of teachers, frequency of our infinite potential, and the Mangala Charan Mantra, Ad Gude Name, Chugad Gude Name, Sat Gude Name, Siri Guru Dev Ve Name, for protection and projection. So we'll take a deep cleansing breath first to start in through our nose and out through our mouth. Deep breath in. Let's do one more like that. Deep inhale through the nose, let it all out. And we'll inhale to tune in and we'll do a one and a half breath on the um, first mantra. So inhaling deeply. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de ven name. Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de ven name. Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de ven name. Inhale, deep breath in, arms go up overhead, stretching, lifting, holding the breath in, and gently exhaling slowly, expanding your hands down to the ground, feeling, feeling your electromagnetic field, your aura energy expanding around you with the sounds. And when you're ready, you can blink your eyes back open, come back to the present here. So welcome everyone on this beautiful solstice evening. So grateful for you all to be here. Um, 
we are going to do a Kriya today for the sciatic nerve, which I realized this whole six week course that I was doing actually had an underlying work with that life nerve the whole time. So I thought I would end on this one, which can help with circulation. Um, it's the longest nerve that runs along the back of our legs. So it's really good to get it activated. Um, but this solstice, I invite you maybe later tonight to reflect on the change of this season, the shift in energy, maybe where you can shift a perspective on something or just notice the subtlety of yourself and that's what we're going to tap into and feel today um moving our subtle energy bodies our energetic bodies as well as our physical body so um to start we're gonna do some breath work keep that on um, so wherever, however you're most comfortable, where you can have your spine straight, you can come up on a cushion to lift your sit bones or off the cushion, whatever is most comfortable. Um, and we're going to do alternate nostril breathing. So this helps to balance our nadis. Um, we have like a central channel of energy that, um, is like through the core of our being. It aligns with our chakras. That's our Shashuna channel. And we have our Ida and Pingala, um, which are the feminine and masculine energies that intertwine around that. So when we do this alternate nostril breathing, um, it helps to balance that. It helps to calm the nervous system down and activate our central channel of energy. So however you want to have your hands, it's kind of easy to have them in a U with your thumb and pinky finger, but we'll start with just blocking off our right nostril, breathing in a deep inhale, closing that nostril, exhaling the opposite, and then inhaling. Blocking that, exhaling the opposite. And just go at your own pace, finding this rhythm, inhaling the same side, exhaling the opposite side. Inhaling the same side. Exhaling the opposite side. And you can close your eyes to focus more on the breath. Just these long, deep breathing.
few more rounds of breath, slow and deep. On your next inhale, fully relax the hands down, fully exhale out of both nostrils. And close, open your eyes again. So we'll get off our cushion and do some um, neck rolls to start dropping our head forward slowly. Rotating our neck. Gentle circles. Breathing in to the stretch, giving attention where it's needed. Few more here. And then on your next rotation, dropping the head forward and slowly reversing that in the opposite direction. And then inhaling, bringing your head back to neutral, straight, and grab onto your ankles to do a spinal flex, inhaling, arching the head and chest forward, exhale, curling in. Stretching the vertebrae along the spine. Inhaling, chest forward, arching, lift up. Exhale, curling in. Feeling the stretch along the spine. Using your breath to help with the stretch and flexibility that you're inviting to the spine. Inhaling, coming back to neutral. Let's lift and drop our shoulders, bringing them up towards our ears, dropping them down. Inhaling, exhaling, letting them go. And 
And maybe do some shoulder rolls, roll them down the back, alternating. And then trying the opposite, rolling the shoulders forward a little bit. And then we can stretch out our legs straight, activate the life nerve, shake out the legs for a second, wake them up, and grab onto your calf, ankle, feet, wherever is comfortable. You can inhale and exhale, bending forward. Toes point straight up to activate that life nerve, the sciatic nerve along the back of our leg. Inhaling up, exhaling, bring your heart towards your knees. Feeling that life nerve waking up. And we can spread our legs out. Inhaling center, exhale, nose towards the right knee. Inhaling center, exhale, nose towards the opposite knee. Just going with your breath, stretching where you can. Inhaling, exhaling. Toes point to the sky again, get that life nerve stretching, activating. Always coming back to the breath, to ride the breath, bringing oxygen to things that are stuck or need stretch. And inhale, center, exhale forward. Just walking your hands out, stretching here, breathing, stretching for a few moments, bent forward, feeling that stretch. One more deep breath. Exhale, maybe bend a little bit more forward towards the floor. And walk yourself back up. Come onto our hands and knees for cat cow. Patting the knee if you need to, if you have sensitive knees, maybe a blanket underneath or folding up your mat. Uh, Shoulders are over your wrist. Knees and hips are aligned. And inhale, arching up, lifting up. Exhale, curling in. Chin towards your chest. Going with your own breath here, feeling that stretch in your spine.
Inhaling, exaggerating that arch, exhaling, really curling in, activating each vertebra from the neck to your root. Few more breaths here. Maybe you want to speed up the movement. Maybe you want to go even slower. Just follow your breath, your body. Breathing into a neutral position. Let's extend our left foot behind us. Maybe lift it up You find your balance. You can lift up your opposite arm. So your right arm, just breathing here. You give an extra lift to your arm and leg, feeling that contralateral strengthening of the back around your spine. And exhale, bring them both back. And wiggle the hips for a moment. And extend your right leg out, whichever leg you didn't just lift. Lift that one up. And you find your balance, extend the opposite arm. Take a few breaths here, maybe give some micro lifts of the arm and leg. Strengthening around your spine. And exhale, bring everything in. Maybe curl into another cat or cow. And we can come down into a rock pose. Bring our forehead to the floor, curling in. And just bring your forehead to the ground, aligning with the electromagnetic field, the earth, resting, realigning your aura to the earth. And then slowly bring your hands up, walk back up to come into a seated position. Actually, we're gonna come up to standing in a moment. Give me one minute. Music. Um, okay, so we're gonna come standing to start this Kriya. What? Okay, so we're gonna start this Kriya for the sciatic nerve. We're gonna extend our left arm out and our right leg is gonna lift up to the side. And we're just gonna do this movement. Here. Yeah, vibe check. So the arm is stationary <laughs> and we're gonna lift that leg up. Just the right leg is moving. This exercise works on balancing your brain and stretching the sciatic nerve. Mm -hmm. 
breathing into this, extending, stretching. Maybe you want to balance the balance beam. Yeah, that'd be good. If you want to go to a wall, you definitely can. A few more breaths, a few more of this movement. Okay, arm down, and we don't do the other side. <laughs> don't worry, but it's not balanced. This is the reason that it's just on that side. So we're gonna bring our arms up to 60 degrees. Make sure your feet are planted well. And we're going to inhale, twisting our body, exhale. And so if you're pregnant or on the first day of your moon, just go in a slow movement with your breath. But for everyone else, we're gonna be really twisting. Moving our gaze with the twist. Moving fast, the breath will come powerfully. This exercise works on the liver and the 60 degree angle of the arms allows for the stimulation and area to occur. So really keep those arms 60 degrees. This playlist goes with a um, different Korea I was almost gonna do, but that one's really intense. I love the music. No, that one, um, you have to shake your arms for seven minutes. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, we can do it sometime. Keep moving with the breath. Imagine you're just creating a vortex with your toroidal field, harvesting all the activating energy of the solstice, <laughs> all of your creative potential. Breathing. Almost there. Need some music to fuel you. <laughs> All right, coming back to center, you can rest your arms for just a moment and we're gonna stay standing, shake out the arms for a second. We're gonna bring them up again. And now with the palms facing forward, we're gonna move the arms like this, as fast as you can in front of each other. Yeah, in front of your face, so like this. Alternate the arms crossing front of the face. Move as fast as you can. Make yourself sweat. <laughs> Exercise stimulates your meridian points in the arms. Breathing, powerful movement. Keep moving, keep breathing. Two more. Good 
Breathe through, breathe, breathe. Inhale the arms up and exhale, relax them down. And this one, we're gonna interlace our hands in a Venus lock. And we're gonna inhale, bend backwards. Exhale, bend forwards. So just concentrate on this movement with your breath, inhaling, arching back. Exhaling, bending forward. <laughs> this movement works on your rib cage. On the exhale, feel that stretch along your leg nerve on the back of the leg. Inhaling up, exhale forward, feeling our sciatic nerve that we'll focus on today. Two more breaths here, arching back. Inhale. Feeling the stretch on the exhale. Inhale, coming back to neutral, finishing your cycle. <laughs> Now we're gonna extend our arms out straight and we're gonna flap them up and down. It's like we're flapping our little wings. Stimulating. This exercise stimulates you for the heavy exercise to follow. So just breathing, moving the arms. How's that on some curves? We want like the windows and hot here. Well, flap in the arms. Breathing. Inhale, breathing. And relax your arms down. So we're gonna bring our hands to our knees and we're gonna move up and down like a slow twerking <laughs> motion. Feet are wider than hip width. And we're just gonna do this slow kind of, or fast <laughs> twerking kind of motion. And you're arching your lower back still like um like you were in the earlier spinal flex. Leaning on the hands. This helps to adjust your lumbar vertebra. Stop. 
Keep moving with the music. Stretching that lower vertebra, the lower lumbar, getting readjusted with this movement. Not here for too long. <laughs> Breathing, moving, arching the back. All right, get your last little twerks in. And come standing back up. Take it out for a second. We're gonna come back down to the ground. We're gonna extend our legs out straight in front of us. And our arms are gonna be parallel to our legs. And I think we're gonna inhale. And on the exhale, stretching forward, but we're not gonna curve our back. We're gonna keep that same kind of like arch. So you inhale, exhale, just moving forward where you can keep that arch in your spine, not curling forward. So on the exhale, you just move your arms forward. Toes are um, can be pointed up or down, but again, we're activating this long nerve along the back of our leg. So on the exhale, we're going forward. Breathing, exhale forward. A few more here. Inhale, coming back up. Then we're going to bring our try and keep our left leg straight and bring our hands around this leg and lift it up and down, leaning back slightly. Try and keep the leg straight, just lifting up and down the support. Bring that leg down. We're gonna switch the opposite leg, supporting this leg, lifting it up, leaning back slightly, keeping the legs straight. Few more breaths here. Do the leg up. Bring the leg down. <laughs> then we're gonna lean back and we're gonna alternate kicking our legs in like this fast. But if you're pregnant or on your first day of your cycle, you can just slowly alternate the legs. Everyone else, we're gonna do kind of this like 
by a fast bicycle motion. There's no doing an ab workout today. <laughs> Breathing, pushing the movement of your legs. Almost there. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. Okay, coming back up. Woo! Great job, everyone. We're going to come into easy pose. We're going to inhale. Inhale, bring our hands up to a fist and exhale them down and open the palm. So this helps work on our circulation. You can go with your breath and start slowing down the breath. So palm, fists on the top, palms open on the bottom. Inhale, fists, exhale, palms. So you can make this a powerful breath unless you're pregnant on the first few days of your moon cycle. You can go slowly with your breath. Everyone else. Inhale, fist, exhale, down. Find the rhythm. Fist, inhale, exhale, open palms. This helps to move the limbs, helps with your circulation, getting the oxygen throughout the body, the blood pumping and moving, the limbs pumping and moving. Inhale, fist, exhale, palms open. Few more breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale your arms up, exhale them down. Um, so we're gonna come into frog pose, but thankfully for you guys, we're not doing any frogs. So however you can come up to on, on your toes with your heels touching and your hands supporting in front of you. So just come into whatever squat and try to um, bring your heels touching, but you can put a pillow behind your feet to kind of like support you in whatever way. But in this position, we're just gonna drop and do some neck rolls, gentle neck rolls in this position. Just rolling your head completely around your shoulders, letting the chin chest touch the chest. And then coming neutral, rotating the opposite direction. Coming to neutral, and then the next movement is bringing your elbows off 
into fists and touching back down. So finding this balance, you're gonna bring your hands up into fists, touching the fingertips back down. So just up and down, pumping the elbows like that. A few more here. Okay, and exhale, coming down, gently walk out, and you're going to come lying onto your back, not for de deep relaxation yet, but you're just going to lie down on your back. Palms up, ankles, letting everything go and just concentrating at your third eye point. Deeply relax for a moment, feeling all the work that you just did built into this Kriya. So just letting everything go for a moment. Make the breath long and deep, concentrating at the third eye. Feel young and beautiful as you are. Now bring your knees up and open them with your heels touching and close them. So doing this opening and closing of the knee, keeping your feet on the floor or heels together if possible. This helps to adjust your hips. And if you can do the movement quickly, it's better. Back to our upbeat music. Then bring your knees together and gently hug in your forehead towards your knees and down. So bring your nose up towards your knees and slowly back down. We'll hug here. And then rolling onto your side to support yourself coming back up to so seated. And we're just gonna press the palm of our hand against the side of our head and resist with our like head and neck and just pressing for like a moment and then alternating the other side. 
pressing. This helps like strengthen our neck and with the alignment of our neck and head. So resisting that press on each side. And finish out where you feel balanced on each side. Then you're going to come laying down for deep relaxation. So now if you want a blanket or something, you're going to fully release, relax, do the work. So finding that comfortable seat, laying down, releasing fully. Relax everything, releasing.
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Bring the awareness back into your body. Gently moving your fingers and toes. Stretching your arms and legs. Gently rolling onto your right side to support your body. Holding yourself here. Cradling yourself in a hug, fetal position. Feeling the ground supporting you. Holding gratitude for this body that supports you through this beautiful life. And when you're ready, slowly supporting yourself up back to a seated position. So for our meditation, you can come sitting on a cushion, whatever is most comfortable for a few minutes to sit and keep your spine straight and in alignment with your neck. This meditation is called the meditation for spiritual endurance. Um, and it comes with a mantra that we're going to chant. Ra, ma, da, sa, sa, se, so, hung. And we're going to have music to it, but ra is the energy of the strong, of the sun, strong, bright, and hot. It energizes and purifies. Ma, the energy of the moon, receptive and cool and nurturing. Da, the energy of the earth, secure and personal. It's the ground of action. Sa, the impersonal infinity, the cosmos in all of its dimensions. Se, uh, totality of our experience, feeling of the sacred thou. It is the embodiment of Sa. So, personal sense, the merger of our identities with the infinite, and hung is the infinite. So we're going to be seated in a easy pose with our spine straight, and our arms are going to be folded in front of our chest. Right arm is over the left. And let me... And our eyes is our uh, gaze is going to be inward, so you can focus on your third eye. And I'll put the music on, and you just chant along to the music. Feel the frequency of the music. We're just closing our eyes, coming within. This meditation helps to invigorate your body's circulation, eliminating blocks, both physical and emotional, awakening your spiritual endurance. With this strength, you move smoothly and calmly through the pressure of life. 
chanting this mantra as it begins, like a prayer from our heart. So, 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 posture, suspending the breath, unless you're pregnant or on the first few days of your moon cycle, you can breathe naturally, holding the breath for everyone else, holding the posture, exhale, releasing, another deep breath in, holding the posture, suspending the breath. Exhale, releasing one more breath, deeply inhaling back in, suspending, holding the posture, holding the breath, holding the vibration of the mantra around you. A deep prayer from your heart. And exhale, relaxing, releasing everything down. You can keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer again. Just taking a moment to breathe into your heart space. Feeling how that space feels now maybe more expanded, maybe it's shifted in a subtle, subtle way. Just bring your awareness into the heart. Know that you can always bring your breath there, your attention there and expand through there.
Inhale. Close with a long time sun. Shine upon you. All of the love surrounds you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All of the love surrounds you. And the pure love within you. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. May the long time sun and shine upon you. All of the love surrounds you, and the pure love elevates within you. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Sa-na. sa -na. No. Oh, great spirit, we thank you for this day, this practice, this life we share here right now. We pray that all beings may know peace, bliss, love, joy, peace to all light to all and love to all. Sat Nam. Thank you everyone for being here on this beautiful solstice evening and sharing this practice with me. I hope that you enjoyed and feel amazing. So happy to close out this series with all of you. Oh, great. Great. Nice. Amazing. Lovely.